Another day, another doom and gloom headline for millennials in real estate. Here's my question, y'all. Should I base the way I think on a survey of what other people think? Is that really a good idea? Let's break it down. What's probably going to cause you to see a lot of doom and gloom crap like this in the media is the New York Federal Reserve put out its SCE housing expectation survey results. So if you scroll down in the actual survey results to this data point right here, that's what's driving a lot of headlines right now. 40% of renters who responded to the survey feel that their likelihood of owning a home is very low. That's it. Like, that's what all that headline and all this stuff being spoon-fed to you can be based on. Something as simple as that. Meanwhile, here in Greenville, South Carolina, you can go to my website right now, link in my bio, hundreds, literally hundreds of results for homes under 300,000. The reason my team and I track these specifically is because the median household income in Greenville is about $70,000. Divide that by 12, take 40% of that, it's 2,300 bucks. So in an example mortgage calculator like this one right here, you'll find, hmm, that might be in the realm of what I can afford with only three and a half percent down. The next step, people, is to contact an actual mortgage professional and say, hey, I'm thinking I'm ready to own, but am I actually ready? Help me figure this out. That's what you have to do to take action, not read headline survey results about what other people think. For more real estate tips, hit the follow button.